right, hello. Um, I'm at the Glenshee Ski Area in the Eastern Cairngorms and I've come here today to look for mountain hares and maybe ptarmigan again. But there's a bit of a problem. The cloud base is right down, so I'm actually already up in the cloud. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see anything at all. Still, I'm going to walk up onto a hill called the Kenwell, which is just behind the ski centre here. And uh, hopefully there'll be some hares up there. And more to the point, hopefully I'll be able to see them in this fog. On second thoughts, I don't think I'm in any kind of hurry to go outside up there. So I'm going to have a brew first. And uh, I've not got very far from the uh, ski centre and I can already see a couple of hares running about uh, on the slopes above me so uh, I think it's time to get the camera out and sort of start moving up towards them very slowly and see how they react to, to me. Uh, with a bit of luck being in the ski centre like this um, they'll be more used to people than perhaps they would be in other places and I might be able to get quite close uh, without uh, too much stalking. couple of hairs on the slope just kind of behind me where the camera's pointed and, uh, I'm gonna try and kind of move towards them but uh, I'm gonna be very careful and move very slowly because the last thing I want to do is disturb them and uh, so if there's any sign of them starting to be agitated by my presence I'm just gonna back off because uh, you know it must be uh, must be stressful enough being an entirely white animal on the, on the hills now because there is an astonishing lack of snow for it being mid-February. It's really, really scoured. This, that's, it's moments like that that are the reason for coming and doing this. Oh, it was wonderful. Well, the weather 
feathers uh, definitely improved and the, the hairs are looking much more relaxed over there now. Um, might even get some sunshine. Crazy. Um, I'm going to keep wandering along up the hill and just sort of slightly close to the hairs to see if they'll tolerate me. Here's a cosy wee place that a hare can spend some time out of the weather. Those two are really very tolerant. I got quite close. I can see other hares, so I'm going to kind of zigzag up the mountain a bit further and see if there are any more that want to uh, want to pose for me. getting pretty windy up high and uh, the clouds have been coming down every now and again and so it's uh, probably time to start descending. Um, I've had a pretty good day with the hares, I think I've got some good video and I've got some good pictures so I'm really looking forward to seeing those on the computer when I get home. Um, what I'm going to do now is probably wander down, back down to the ski centre and uh, see if I can get some pictures of the red grouse which are calling been able to hear them all day. If you've watched any of my videos before, 
I hope you will be noticing an improvement in the quality of the the vlog footage. Um, and the reason for that is this. It's an Osmo Pocket by DJI and it's effectively a little handle with a stabilised drone camera on it. And the other thing that really has literally turned around the vlogging experience is it's got a screen which means it can show me the image of me while I'm, uh, I'm talking to camera, which uh, didn't work on my phone. The, the front camera on my phone is just useless. Anyway, it's great fun to use. It's very light. And uh, so far, I've not managed to break it, which I was a bit worried about because it does look a little bit flimsy. And so we'll, we'll see. So far, it seems pretty good. Right. I think uh, that's probably uh, everything for today. I'm, I'll tag on pictures of the grouse if I see them on the way down. I hope you've enjoyed the mountain hares. I certainly have. It's been cracking. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.